Oh, it's just Stephanie, war, war. I'm still working on it. Welcome back to Changing Scripts. It is time to get ready for vacation day. Just had my hair done and my nails done. These are things I could definitely do in Spain, but why when I can do them at home, um, at home in Shanghai? <laughs> Um, which also got me thinking, because when I was talking to my amazing, amazing Chinese stylist, um, who has traveled more in Europe than I have recently, or ever, no, probably more, I don't know, probably both, um, I started to think about Spanish, and I, and it's been in the back of my mind the whole time since we've decided to do this trip. Um, what I'm going to do with Spanish while I'm in Spain. Because as I mentioned before, the only language that I've gotten anywhere with, and not far, I promise you, but anywhere with, has been Spanish. So, oh, I love doors. Look at this thing. I love doors. Okay, anyway, the only language that, what is that? That's a preschool. My goodness, I did not go to that preschool. Um, Focus, right. The only language I've gotten anywhere with, uh, functionally or otherwise, has been Spanish up until this point. So, um, when I go, I am not really the type of person that can handle one language learning experience, let alone two. Um, actually, I can handle one. I think I'm doing quite well. Slow, but forward marching I am. <laughs> that was weird language structure. That's fine. Anyway, so... My thoughts are, when I get there, I don't want to like have this wall. Uh, I don't want to have this wall like, no, no, I'm not going to speak Spanish or I'm not going to learn Spanish while I'm here because I'm studying Chinese. Like that seems silly and like a waste of three weeks where we'll be in the country, mostly in the south. So we're not, I don't think we're hitting any autonomous regions with distinct languages, I don't think. Uh, it's still a rough plan where we're going, so that's why I'm in the don't think kind of area of this. I like the ambiance of that place. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, so what do I do? Because I can't handle studying both because this is a vacation and I'm on strict orders from my doctor to have an active vacation, which I want to do anyway. It's fall, it's going to be beautiful, I'm going to be able to be on bicycles and go hiking and all kinds of really wonderful outdoorsy things. But there will be Spanish around me and I will want to use what I know and I will probably be curious what words are that are here around me and that kind of thing. So, and this probably isn't a question you all can answer, but it's something, my God, this is the neighborhood of doors. Anyway, <laughs> and windows. I really, really, I'm gonna take a million pictures of doors when we're in Europe, by the way. So, sign up for my, or follow me on Twitter if that is of interest to you. Anyway, the point is, it's not really something I can answer, I'll just kind of take it as it comes, but have you had this experience? So I guess you can answer that part. Have you had this experience where you're studying one language and then you go on vacation in another place where you are interested in learning more about that language, but you're not actively studying it then? Normally, when I go on vacation, it's not to places where I'm interested in that language, but I feel like... So I feel like this is a new conflict for me. <laughs> okay, because normally when I've been in a place that uses Spanish actively, um, I've been there for longer stretches and I've taken classes and I've, I've tried to use the language while I'm there. However, this is the first time I'm actively studying a different language and then going to a place that uses Spanish. So there's all kinds of newness happening here that I'm not sure what to do with. I know if I try to study both, I'll end up spending too much time on my phone and online and this is a vacation. I need to be outside, I need to be off my phone, and all that kind of good stuff. So what do I do? What do I do? What have you done? What have you done in this specific circumstance if this has happened to you? If you've visited a place where you have some language abilities and you'll probably want to learn more, how do you compartmentalize it and still have a vacation? Ah! Because I am not someone who just picks up language. I think you've noticed that already. So I'm not that kind of person that can just like jot down a few things here and there and start to use that without actively studying. It's not really how my brain works. So that's out. So I guess I'm just trying to figure out what to do, what to do when this happens. What to do? I don't know. I'm really, really not sure. 
Uh, any suggestions, ideas, experiences that you've had with this would be really, really, really appreciated. I'm trying to figure out where to go. I'm trying to get a slightly different background because I feel like I walk down the same streets a lot when I talk to you. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that's, that's the pondering moment of the day is what's going to happen with the languages when I go. I'm taking my reading book with me. I assume that I will keep studying Chinese. I don't see why not. It's a really good thing to do. I don't really like go out much at night anywhere I go anymore. I'm not really... I'm boring in that sense. So I can study at night easily. But what about during the day? What about Spanish? What about Spanish? All right, I'm sort of repeating myself now. And I'm passing by a lot of people who can understand me and they're looking at me like I'm nuts. Because I am talking to a screen. Let's be honest. So, and that's part of the problem, isn't it? Is I'll be in Spain and I'll be able to use Spanish to talk to people. And so that wouldn't that make more sense than talking to a screen? Pondering, pondering, pondering. Uh, yeah, your feedback on your own experiences will be greatly appreciated. And I'll let you know as things evolve what I end up doing while I'm there. I'm not going to make any decisions before I go. Of course not. That would be silly. That would be planning. I'm not really planning this trip, <laughs> as you might have guessed. So we'll see what happens. But um, but yeah, go ahead and share your experiences because it's kind of it's a, it's a new dilemma for me. Like I said, too many languages, so little brain space. All right, more soon. Sachin.